food time to think write two food items you should eat which are rich in the following nutrients iron vitamin d vitamin c vitamin a vitamin b the journey of food begins with the growing of crops it goes through many stages before it reaches us as food before we read about these stages let's read how the process of growing crops began beginning of agriculture early man used to hunt animals for food they had to eat the wild plants that grew around them and the wild animals that lived around them with time people learned to grow crops from seeds they learned to domesticate animals and breed cattle growing crops and rearing animals for food is known as agriculture once people started agriculture they began to settle down in permanent houses because they did not need to move around looking for food anymore villages and societies gradually grew because of agriculture over the years scientists developed better and stronger varieties of plants modern farm machines and highly effective fertilizers and pesticides these improvements increased efficiency reduced the need for farm labor and led to an increase in the output of crops nitigriti the word agriculture is derived from the two latin words ager which means field and culture which means cultivation cultivation of crops the land where plants are cultivated is called a field plants that are grown and tended to in a field are called crop plants all crops cannot be grown everywhere and all the time they are grown according to the climate nature of soil and availability of water at that place stages of crop production the cultivation of crops involves a series of activities these activities are known as agricultural practices the agricultural practices are given in the flow chart below preparing soil plowing the process begins with plowing the process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing this is done by a wooden or an iron plow animals are used to pull the plows in smaller fields plowing in bigger fields is done by tractors advantages of plowing it loosens and aerates the soil so that the roots are able to penetrate deeper and breathe well it brings nutrient rich soil to the top so that plants can use these nutrients it helps in the growth of microorganisms and worms in the soil that add humus to the soil and maintain its fertility sowing seeds Sowing is the process of planting seeds in the soil. It is either done by hands or with the help of a seed drill. A variety of seed drills such as Tipun or Mogada are used for this purpose. After sowing, a wooden board is drawn over the field to cover the scattered seeds with the soil. Adding manures and fertilizers the substances which are added to the soil in form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manures and fertilizers they are added because growing crops continuously makes the soil poor in certain nutrients lack of sufficient nutrients in the soil results in the production of weak crop manures and fertilizers replenish the soil with nutrients irrigation water is essential for the growth of plants the process of watering plants in the field is known as irrigation agricultural land is usually irrigated by canals wells and tube wells 
Nowadays, sprinkler irrigation and drip irrigation system are used for irrigation. Irrigation should be proper. Both excess of water and scarcity of water are harmful for the crops. Harvesting The process of cutting and gathering crops after they are mature is called harvesting. The crops are pulled out or cut close to the ground. It is done manually using sickles or through machines. Threshing Threshing is the process of beating paddy plants in order to separate the seeds or grains from the straw. Threshing can be done manually or mechanically. The manual methods of threshing are treading by feet, flail method and beating stalks against tubs, boards or racks. Mechanical threshing removes rice grains from the rice plants. In it, threshing is done speedily. Winnowing After threshing, the chaff is removed from the grains by wind. This is known as winnowing. In this process, the threshed grains are made to fall from a certain height. The seeds, being heavier, fall directly to the ground while the light shafts fall separately and the winds blow it away. Storage The harvested crops need to be kept safe from moisture, insects and rats. Hence, they need to be stored safely. Some steps for proper storage are The grains are dried in the sun to reduce moisture in them. Farmers store grains in jute bags or in metallic bins. The large scale storage of grains is done in silos and granaries to protect them from pests like rats and insects. Selling Farmers sell their crops to the wholesalers. Wholesalers sell them to small shopkeepers or retailers from whom we buy them. Changing pattern of growing crops. Traditionally, farmers in India grow wheat, rice, sugarcane, millets, oil seeds, tea, coffee, potato, onion and other fruits and vegetables. Today, people are eating different kinds of food. As a result, farmers are also growing special crops such as kiwi, soya bean, kinu, parsley, broccoli and cherry. Crop diversification is intended to give a wider choice in the production of a variety of crops in a given area so as to expand production related activities on various crops and also to lessen risk. Crop diversification in India is generally viewed as a shift from traditionally grown less remunerative or profitable crops to more remunerative crops. Crop substitution and shift are also taking place 